because God is sovereign even over the unlawful murder of the unborn child. Which isn't just murder, it's first degree with malice aforethought. Literally lying and wait. The Bible warns in Romans chapter 1, listen to this. We talked a little bit about this on prayer night on Thursday night with Sister Caroline's giant print. Thank God for that. God also gave them up to uncleanliness. God did that. These national sins are God's judgment on our nation. God's not caught by surprise. He knows what's going on. It says that he gave them up to uncleanliness, verse 24 of Romans 1. Then God gave them up to vile passions, verse 26 of Romans 1. And then God gave them over to a debased mind. They think what they're doing is right. They believe it is okay. He gave them over to a debased mind to do the things that, that which are not fitting, verse 28. So right there, verse 24, verse 26, and verse 28 of Romans chapter 1, God turned them over to the wicked uncleanliness, to their vile passions. It talks about homosexuality and lesbianism. It also talks about murder in this passage, which would be, which would be two national sins right there. And God gives them over to a debased mind. They're nuts because God gave them over. And many of them will never get saved. Many of them can't ever get saved. But we've got to go out as a church and preach or share the gospel and trust in God's will that he will save his elect, whomever they may be. Listen to this about God's decree. I, I truly believe, after watching social media this last six months, that I, there's a lot of Reformed Baptists that don't even believe in the de decree of God. It says in chapter 3, paragraph 1 of our confession, and this is a confessional church, God hath decreed in himself from all eternity by the most wise and holy counsel of his own, free, own will, freely and unchangeably, all things. He decrees all things. Whatsoever comes to pass, yet, where are we at? Yet so as thereby is God neither the author of sin. He decrees these things, but he's not the author of sin, nor does he have fellowship with any therein. Though he decrees these things, he's not the author of sin, nor does he have fellowship with them. Nor is violence offered to the will of the creature, nor yet is the liberty or contingency of second causes taken away, but rather established in which appears his wisdom in disposing all things and power and faithfulness in accomplishing his decree. 